I'm at it again in the kitchen. This recipe I got from the 750 Gram French cooking channel today and I thought, wow, I think I have all the ingredients pretty much, you know. Let me make the tomato soup that he just showed, which is not long cooking. And it's going to have to be cooled a bit and pureed a little at a time. And then I'll just cover it and reheat it and check it for dinner tonight. This is a little bit of oil, onion, thyme, uh, garlic. You're supposed to use a little celery. I actually didn't have any. And I did not wish to use a little zucchini. I used instead a bit of Ras al Hanout, which has fennel in it, and it's a, a Northern African herb mix, but very little. And the last of the spring onion tops, just a bit of ground pepper of a mixed variety, and you're supposed to use vegetable stock. I put in a beef bouillon cube, a half of one, and a little bit of water. It's not strictly vegetarian and those cubes are questionable, but they're handy if you don't have any stock. So this looks like it's cooking okay. It's not supposed to take very long. I may turn it off soon. And then I'm going to mush it up in the blender once it's cooled. I may turn it off now, you know, why not? You said it only takes 15 minutes of cooking. Now these are hard boiled eggs, five of them. So I have a lot of eggs to use up. And they just have a few more minutes to go. I put them in the cold water, bring them to a boil, turn off the heat, and cover them for 15 minutes maximum. I do not want to cover them for more, or I will get that green ring around the yolk. Uh, eggs should be two weeks old in order to hard boil very well. I'm going to make egg biryani for dinner tonight. So I'm getting the hard boiled eggs ready. She suggests six, but there were only two of us. I'm sure that five is going to be more than enough. And this it's from, see I wrote it down in an old envelope. It's from Madura's Recipes. And she says to prepare the basmati rice and boil the eggs. And then, you know, there there's a whole list here. Oil in the skillet, not very much. Cumin seeds, three leaves. Um, there are special Indian bay leaf that she shows. I do have those. Uh, black cardamom, 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 two of them. I do have those. Five whole cloves, I do have those. One javesri, I don't know what that is, but I've got a coarse garam masala mix that probably has that in there. Also some cassia bark, I don't know what that is. A little bit of a cinnamon stick, some finely chopped onion, some crushed garlic, ginger, which I don't specifically have, but I do have razal hanout jom, which does have ginger in it as well as turmeric, coriander. So, you know, I'm going to use that. Then I'm supposed to add some plain whole fat yogurt, some green chilies. I've got to go to my back window and see if I've got any ready. Some red chili powder, some garam masala powder. I do have that. Some biryani masala. I don't know what that is. Okay. I can look for that, but I don't know what that is. I'm not going to stress over it. I may just use a little bit of curry mix or something. I don't know. Some fresh coriander leaves. I do have those. I grow them myself. Some fresh mint. I don't have either the fresh or the dried. I can either look for some for tonight or just skip it. <laughs> but mint is nice to have. You should have it. Mm -hmm. At least the dried. Uh, Add soaked drained rice, excuse me, add a little bit of water, much less than you would use for normal rice cooking. 
a little more salt. I'm going to take it very easy on the salt. I'm not even supposed to eat salt. Cover it. Roast the eggs, which have been boiled. Okay. You peel them, you score them very lightly with a sharp knife, and you roast them in a skillet, a small skillet, with a very small amount of oil. And you put in some chili powder, some biryani masala, whatever that is, some salt, agitate the eggs so they get all coated, and saffron water, oh I put W-A-T-E, which is, I've learned how to do this for biryani, it's very hot water, and you put a little, a uh, few little saffron stamen in there and let it soak, and it's really the water that, that you want, you know, you, you shouldn't just usually just throw saffron into things. Uh, some biryani masala, some more coriander leaves, some mint, some fried onions, I'm going to have to do those separately, some ghee or clarified butter, cover and cook. Okay, we'll see how